Hi guys, I really like Game of Thrones and there's a, actually a lot of language stuff in Game of Thrones uh, so I thought I'd do a video about it. Um, what I've got here is the wonderful map series uh, made by Jonathan Roberts based on um, the information from the books and information that he got from George R. R. Martin. So this one is the Westeros map. This is the Free Cities. Um, and this is the whole of the known world. And there's a bunch of other ones in one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be going over the, the known language stuff uh, of the world. So um, we know that there, <coughs> there are languages spoken like all, all over this world and um, they weren't specifically developed. Uh, by George R. R. Martin because he is not a linguist and he was more focusing on the story um, but he does mention languages uh, from time to time obviously the most well-known languages um, of the series are Dothraki and High Valyrian High Valyrian was spoken by the Valyrians and Dothraki is obviously spoken by the Dothraki horse people um, so if we start at the very top here you can see um, this is the frozen shore. Um, if you go further north than this, um, you get to the land of, of um, always winter, um, and that's where the others or the white walkers uh, come from. And I don't know if it was exactly specified in the books, but um, from the research that I did, uh, says that they speak a language called Scroff which was partially developed for the TV show, but they never actually ended up using it. Um, so if we look at the whole of Westeros, um, so in the time of the books, the whole of Westeros is dominated by a language called the common tongue. So obviously in, in fantasy books and things like that, um, they've got this common language that everyone speaks. So obviously the common tongue is just English. Um, and if you're watching it in German, then it's just German. Um, but what's interesting about it is that they do actually have accents, um, it, even in the show, like the, the people in Dawn, so Dawn is, is down here, um, they portray the people of Dawn in the show as having a Spanish accent. Um, and in, in the north, um, uh, people in the north used to speak um, the old tongue. Um, and that is that has slowly died out, but um, they created a very small bit of the old tongue, basically an old tongue pigeon, uh, which is spoken by um, the giant in uh, one of the episodes. Okay, so um, if if we look if we look here, um, here where is it? Oh, okay, there. I knew it was on one of the bays. <laughs> so this is Blackwater Bay. And here's King Landing. It's called King Landing because that, that is where um, Aegon the Conqueror um, landed um, and started his conquest of Westeros from here. Now, um, Aegon was a Valyrian. Now, the Valyrians come all the way from Essos. So if we, if we look here, okay, here's the world map. Um, uh, the Valerians come from uh, this area, you see here Valeria. Now no one's quite sure what happened to Valeria, but uh, one theory is that um, there was a, a massive volcan a volcanic eruption that happened here and that destroyed the whole civilization. Now Aegon was not actually uh, part of a prominent family, but they they made their mark on history by uh, conquering Westeros. Um, now the Valyrian language that they spoke um, came from Valyria and Valyria actually extended over this whole area so they took over the whole area here and they also extended um, all, all the way into Slavis Bay and also um, they eventually conquered the, the Guscari Empire. Um, now uh, Valyrian and Dothraki are the most developed uh, languages um, uh, for the TV show. Now, um, the languages weren't developed uh, for the books. There was only a few words here and there. Um, so they hired a linguist 
by the name of David Peterson to actually develop the languages for the TV show. Okay, so before I start talking more about uh, High Valerian and the dialects that descended from that, I just wanted to touch on a, a few more languages that, that are mentioned in the books. The Lazarene who live in this area, Lazar, speak their own language called Lazarene um, and it's said to have kind of a sing-songy sound to it. But it wasn't actually uh, developed much beyond that point. Um, and it, it doesn't actually feature in the show, but I thought I would mention that. Um, so Karth, which is here, um, they also have their own language, um, but that again wasn't developed uh, for the books or the TV show. And one last thing, um, if you go all the way into East, um, Ashai, which is here, um, that, um, that is the most easterly place that I think is, is meant one of the most easterly places that is mentioned in, in the books. And they also have their own language, but that uh, we don't actually hear that in, uh, in the TV show. And we don't uh, come across any of it in the books. Um, okay, well, now that that's out of the way, let's get to Valen, which is very well developed in, in uh, the TV show, and there's a lot of background to it. After the doom of, of Valeria, um, the the major power for the Valerians was in was in Westeros, um, and the the Valerians all the way until um, Robert Baratheon, who's obviously not a Valerian, but he ended the the Valerian hold on Westeros. Um, or the Valerians, all the way up to Daenerys, uh, spoke High Valerian. Um, now, High Valerian is the more ancient form of the language. It's kind of like Latin, whereas the Valerian dialects are kind of like Spanish and Portuguese and Italian. Um, there are three main types, or three main groups of Valerian. There, there is the Northern, which is over here. So these are the free cities. They're, they're called the free cities because they're one of the first places to break off from the Valerian Empire once the Valerian Empire broke down. And so it's there's Northern, Southern, um, and Slavers Bay. And Slavers Bay Valerian is also known as Giscari Valerian um, because it's greatly inf influenced by the um, Giscari language. So for instance, um, in Marine, um, they don't they don't say uh, some kind of variant of Munya. Munya is the High Valerian word for mother. They say Musa or Misa, um, which actually comes from Giscari. Um, so the northern group of High Valerian is is made up of um, Bravosi, uh, Lorathi. Pentoshi, uh, Norvoshi, and Kohorik. Um, and Kohor isn't on this map. Um, I think it's on, oh, here. I think it's on this map. And there we go. Kohor, which is at the edge of the, of the forest here. Is it on, oh, there. I just didn't see it. <laughs> uh, so there, there's Kohor. So you see, all of those are in this northern area here. Um, now the southern group is much, much smaller. It's um, uh, Mirish, um, Lysini, and Vol Volantine. Now, Volantine is uh, an important dialect um, because um, it, it is uh, the, the language of um, the, that is spoken by the r religious group here um, that uh, that worship the red god. So most of Essos or most of this area worships the red god. But um, what is called Old Valentine, Old Valentine is used by the red god religion, and it it has a lot of prominent places um, in Volantis. So now if you look here. You can actually see they've drawn, they've drawn the land is very big. Okay, I've now taken out the Slaves Bay map. 
Um, so it's called Slaver's Bay because um, Mirin, Yunkai, and Asapol are major slave cities. Um, and so this whole area has become known as Slaver's Bay. Um, so the, the languages spoken in uh, Mirin, Yunkai, and Asapol are descended from High Valyrian, um, but they're quite different to the languages from the free cities. So you can see, you you would be able to see uh, similarities between the, the Northern Valerian languages and the Southern Valerian languages, um, but these ones are, are very different. Okay, so now I'm going to read you some High Valerian. High Valerian um, was kind of based on Latin. It had, had this idea of like, um, it was the language spoken by this old empire and obviously George R. R. Martin got a, a lot of inspiration from that kind of uh, background. So, um, if you watch Game of Thrones, you definitely know the quote Vala Morgulis, which means all, all men must die. Um, and then the reply is Vala Dohairis. So, um, when Daenerys goes to the slave market. Um, she she gets a translation in High Valyrian, and the uh, translation is Morgot ne dusu sesir zugusu azantis vestras. And now the word unsullied in High Valyrian is Dovalgedis. And now. As the Valerian Empire broke down, um, there's, they developed different dialects. So, Mirin, Yunkai, and Asapor all have their own dialects. And Asapor is the, the, the least changed out, out of them. Um, so, if you, if you only know High Valerian, you can actually understand Asapori Valerian. But Miranese Valerian is very different, and Yunkai is actually closer to Asapori Valerian. So, Tovagedus in High Valerian is Tovagedi in Asapori Valerian. And now, Miranese Valerian is the most diversion of all of them. Um, so, Tovagedi in Miranese Valerian is the war. So, Miranese really, really only has uh, diversion in terms of grammar, it's diversion in phonology, and it has a lot of uh, Giscari words in there. I think it's in one of the season three episodes that uh, Dinner has this particular line. Zaldrizes buzdari ixos daor. Um, so, daor is not, um, and what's interesting in High Valerian. To uh, make the negative coupler, you take um, the coupler, which is um, Iksan, that, that's the first person uh, conjugation uh, for present, and then it becomes Ixos. You have to uh, put it into the subjunctive if you're using a negative. Um, but what's interesting about this line is that Zaldrizes is um, High Valerian, but Buzdari um, actually is a word in Asapori Valerian which was borrowed from Giscari. Um, so what I read is, is that um, Diner is just trying to make a point here of connecting High Valerian to Asapori Valerian and making the, the point to these people that um, actually uh, she's one of them and she just speaks slightly differently. Now I'm going to be talking about Asapori Valerian. Asapori Valerian is grammatically simplified from High Valerian. It's only got two grammatical genders, whereas High Valerian has four. Here is an example of Asapori Valerian. Vagizi porja peten kavesa. Dos vagizi. Skatala ja hubre pen. Daho Kuno Masino. And here is Marine. In Marine, they speak Marinese Valerian. 
Here is an example of mayonnaise filleting. Ying shijetra os erlich tha shifang. Okay, so that was an overview of um, High Valyrian and the Valyrian languages. I'm going to do a quick overview of Dothraki now. Dothraki is the language of the Dothraki people, um, who are a nomadic horse lord people who um, hold sway over what's called the Dothraki Sea because it's a vast plain land. Um, every now and then they head to Vase Dothrak um, to pay respects to uh, their gods, and one of them is called the Mother Mountain, which is this huge mountain. But basically, they uh, spend the time like pillaging and robbing people all, all, um, all over this area. Um, so um, I can now give you an example. I will now give you an example of Dothraki. Ah, chomaka chomakan, je kal vejven. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this language overview. Uh, when I have some more time, I'll go into more detail on each, each language because they, they are, are each uh, fully developed languages. Um, I suppose the only thing lacking really is more vocabulary, but um, it was developed mainly for the show. Um, but the, the grammar is fully working and, and each language is quite distinct. Um, Dothraki um, is completely distinct to the Valyrian languages. Um, and it has completely its own grammar, um, which is uh, interesting and unique in, in, in its own way. Um, so when I have some more time, uh, I, will, I will go over the, the grammar of those languages. Cheers, guys.